In this problem, we're trying to decide uh, which car to buy. We have two options, a hybrid or a non-hybrid vehicles. Uh, you know, we have hybrid cars, they have higher initial costs, but they have lower fuel operating costs. So, um, you know, here are the two. The first option is the hybrid car, okay? Uh, nice and new, uh, higher price tag, okay? So a little bit more expensive. Uh, but it's going to save at the fuel pump, okay? So not as much uh, fuel cost, okay? But we have another one, which is going to be the non-hybrid vehicle. Initial cost is less, but at the pump, then this is going to be more, okay? So uh, we want to try to make the decision between option one, okay, and option two. And uh, so we plan on keeping the car for five years. And then uh, it's going to be, you're gonna be able to recoup about 25% uh, of the vehicle, or it's gonna depreciate by 75%. Uh, okay, so we get 25% back. You drive about 200 miles per week. Okay, create a program that will print which car is the, is the better. Uh, decision in terms of the finances and the total cost. Also, print how much money you would be saving for this car compared to the other car. So we'll assume a cost of a gallon of gasoline is uh, two dollars and twenty cents per gallon. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up Python notebook and um, work through this calculation. What we're going to do is just go ahead and create a couple things that we know about um, you know the problem, which is that the uh, hybrid uh, price is going to be equal to 25,000, okay? And then the hybrid uh, MPG is going to be 33. And then we'll put the, um, we'll put just the, uh, the car, the regular car uh, price is going to be equal to 15,000. And then the non-hybrid car price uh, in terms of miles per gallon. Uh, sorry, not the price. Uh, MPG is going to be 19. Okay, and then the miles, uh, weekly miles, okay, is going to be equal to 200. And then let's see, the gas is gonna be 2.2. If you wanna put a comment there, just put a, a hash sign, uh, and that is, going to be dollars um, per gallon. Okay, just labeling it with some units, miles, um, and that is going to be uh, miles per gallon, and that one is gonna be dollars. Okay, so, and, and so forth, you can label those, just so you can remember what, um, what they are. And then you wanna keep this for five years. Okay, and then uh, let's go ahead and define a new function. Uh, now, if we were gonna be evaluating this for a number of cars, uh, then uh, you know, we would wanna create a function so that we could you know, redo this calculation over and over again, and not have to redefine it. Okay, so we got uh, car uh, cost is going to be equal to the price uh, times 0 0.75. Okay, so it's gonna depreciate uh, by 75% and then we will return the car cost. Okay, so based on the price. Uh, so this is a very simple uh, function. We probably don't even need a function for this, but nonetheless, just because we're practicing. Uh, okay, and then we have uh, total uh, cost. Okay, we'll do the price, MPG, miles, Okay, so we'll do uh, weekly miles. We can shorten that uh, name. Okay, um, and then years, and then gas. All right, so let's say we had all of these inputs. Uh, one of the things that we can do is just put here in the beginning, we can put some help, uh, like the, uh, you know, the price, is the dollars for the car, uh, you know, stuff like that. We can MPG equals miles per gallon. 
Okay, so we're just kind of defining it. You can put the, the quotes, the three quotes there, and that'll start kind of a comment uh, comment area, okay? And then if you want to give some help, um, then, then you can, I'll show you how to get help on a function as well, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and just do the uh, total uh, miles for the five years is going to be, uh, you know, the weekly miles, uh, times 52, you know, about 52 times the times the number of years. Okay, and then we also have the cost, which is going to be the total, uh, you know, the total miles. Um, let's see, do I have miles in there? Um, let's see, the total miles. Now, I don't have it as an input. Okay, so so this is going to just come from this uh, calculation here. If you do define something up here, it can be used in the function, but it's better to uh, you know define things in the function or have them as input, so it's all kind of self-contained. Uh, okay, so I'm going to do the total miles divided by MPG times the gas price plus the car. Uh, you know, depreciation time of the, with the price in there. Okay, so I used uh, this function, okay, right here within the total cost function. All right, so, so we define this one first so that it would be available uh, down here. And then I want to return uh, the cost. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if this, uh, this works out. So we have the uh, hybrid, okay, the hybrid cost is going to then be equal to total cost, and we do the, um, okay, then we put it as a first argument there, hybrid price, and then hybrid MPG, and then um, weekly miles, okay and then we have the years and then the gas. All right, so let's go ahead and print out that hybrid cost. Okay, so let's see, we got an error here and this is good to have errors, uh, you know, because it helps us uh, see some of the debugging and, and some of the information. Well, one of the things that you'll notice is that, you know, some of this is, is a little bit cryptic, okay? Um, it, it says it, there's a an error, a name error, um, and it points to the line where the error happened. It says that total uh, name error, and it says that to name total is not defined. So let's just go up there and see if total is defined. And we and we see there that it wasn't. We needed to name it the same thing as our function. So I forgot the cost there. Okay, so there is uh, the cost over five years including the fuel and the depreciation of the vehicle. Okay, and then uh, let's go ahead and do the same thing, but with the, uh, I'll just put that as a car. Okay, and then we just replace it with uh, some of these parameters for uh, the car. Okay, and then we'll print the car cost. Okay, so we can immediately see that, you know, just by comparing these two numbers that, you know, the hybrid is going to be a little bit more expensive than the car over five years. But let's say we change, we wanted to redo this calculation and do it for 10 years instead. And, uh, you know, maybe our depreciation uh, went up a little bit, but we'll just, we'll just leave the depreciation alone. Then it starts becoming more uh, competitive as you go out uh, further in time because the uh, hybrid, of course, is going to help you save on the gas. Okay, so but let's um, let's put a couple if statements in here just to have it do this comparison for us. Okay, so we have um, if the hybrid cost is going to be less than the uh, car cost. Okay, just the regular car. Um, then we might print, you know, something like hybrid car is better, okay? And then else we'll print uh, 
don't uh, save the environment. Okay, so go for the regular car. So let's see what it comes up with. Don't save the environment because you know the regular car is going to be um, cheaper. Okay. Um, all right, so so that's essentially the the problem. If you want to format this a little bit different, you see that you know it didn't really come out um, you know as as something that uh, you know looks very good. And so what we might want to do is you know don't save the environment. You'll save um, or we could put if if you want. Okay, if you want to save the environment, you'll pay an extra, okay, and then we could put in here, we could put plus, um, we could put the dollar sign right there, and then don't forget the str to convert this into a string, and then we could put the difference uh, between the two. Okay, so the hybrid, um, cost minus the car cost okay you're gonna pay an extra that amount but let's say we want to format this um, you know we want to format this so it it looks just a little bit um, you know better in terms of the just down to the sense area so so what we'll do is then insert here we're gonna insert the um, the the percent F okay so we're gonna put a float in there and then we'll put the um, percent and then I'm gonna put this number right in here okay and then it'll format it for us as a float okay but now we want to specify also the number of uh, decimal points that we want. So we could put down something like um, 8.2. Let's see if this works. Oh, no, I need to do, hmm, let's see, 8.2. Let's try that. There it is. Okay, so I have eight numbers total, and I want two decimal points. Okay, now if I put in 10, for example, it's going to add a couple spaces there. I might want to reduce this down to seven. Okay, seven total spaces. So two, three, nine, one. That's four point two three. That's three more. Okay, so that's uh, and then point two. That says how many decimal points we need. So if I did eight point three, I'd just get three uh, decimal places there. Okay, so uh, that's how we can print out uh, some of our results. We just did this, uh, you know, simple program, this hybrid price, car price, all of the data about the different cars. We created a couple different functions, and then we just uh, printed out uh, some messages at the end and formatted our string so that uh, they would look nice uh, for the results. Okay, so um, this is the example. Um, if you want to download the template for it, you know, just come into the homework for the the programming class okay come into the homework and this is going to be homework assignment number seven so you can download you, know, you can get the assignment here and then also the files that you can download uh, that have the ipython notebook in them and i'll go ahead and post this solution as well